With almost 500 sessions at Next 2018, it's understandable that you couldn't get to them all. So if you didn't see analyzing text data with Google Sheets and Cloud Natural Language, then stay tuned, because here's the rewind. I'm Joanna Smith, and I picked this rewind because my number one focus this year is replacing tedious tasks with clever solutions. And Alicia is on my team trying to do the exact same thing. Alicia Williams is a developer advocate for G Suite, and her focus is on making data useful and meaningful by bridging services between G Suite and the Google Cloud platform. And in this talk, she walks through a demo she made that blends open-ended customer feedback with analytics to create meaningful insights. Before we go over it, I want to call out how incredibly relatable and inspiring Alicia is. She doesn't have the tech background, but she is smart and competent, and she saw a problem that she wanted to solve. So she started asking questions until she figured it out. OK, so we were discussing open-ended feedback, which is often the most useful feedback because it allows a business to gain insight that was outside of their assumptions. Alicia points out that while structured survey questions are easier to collate and track, they are also bound by your own expectations. So the question is how to collect, analyze, and visualize some open-ended feedback. And that's the project Alicia tackled head on. Alicia started with collection. She created a form for her survey, and she explains that she loves Google Forms because they can do basic analysis, and they even offer templates and pre-filled URLs, all for free. Form responses can also be stored in a Google Sheet. And since she didn't actually have hundreds of people she could force to fill out her demo survey, she decided to get clever. So she filled her Google Sheet with a data set that she found on Kaggle, one that is comprised of Airbnb reviews. Now she has the data she needs for form responses. To analyze her data, she used AppScript to connect her Google Sheet full of data to the Cloud Natural Language Processing API, almost like our platforms were designed to work together. Anyway, so she chose NLP because it can analyze that open ended feedback in two ways, by noticing specified keywords or elements and by assessing the general sentiment. So now, making your data meaningful is already easier because your Google Sheet can sort out positive, negative, and neutral comments. Finally, she needed those rows of data to be useful, and this is the visualize step. So she connects the entire thing to Data Studio in order to visualize the data and see trends at a glance. Now, I'm super biased because I work with Alicia directly, but her talk is so inspiring. It's technical and well presented, and it's so relatable because she made this happen using tools that can seem intimidating when you're new, but they don't have to be. If you'd like to see the full talk, check out the link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Cloud YouTube channel for more great Next Rewind content. Thanks for watching.